Hop right on into it. You want cultured swine? What? 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 And we're rolling. Is this fucking thing on? Let's start the fucking show. And we're back with another episode of Uncultured Swine. To my left, the man who makes hot dogs with his eggs or eggs with his hot dogs. We'll never know. The artist formerly known as Atreyu, Dirty Dan. Say hello to the people. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Dirty Dan, your boy, your AKA. I don't know what the fuck. Hard, this is your best I intro ever. And no. off to my right. <sighs> the master I'm really of out of Star Wars references, which is sad because it is Papa Palpatine. Say hello to the people. You think Dan's the only one that cooks uh, hot dogs with his eggs? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I told him. Like, almost everybody I know does that. I think it's a Mexican thing. Nah, people have eaten sausage with eggs before. No, no, that's sausage with eggs. I mean, like, Oscar Mayer wieners. Hot Uh, hot dogs is the same thing, just not as, it's not bratwurst sausage. Yeah, but how do you like my little uh, white boy (laughs) one hit it? (laughs) Hi, folks. I'm Johnny White Trash. I got an intro, too, you know. Yeah, we heard it. You said you're No, yeah, we we heard it. You popped open that, I don't know what. (laughs) I can't tell you. I can tell you exactly what it is. It's, what is it? It's it's an Sheep. unsponsored energy drink. Uh, well, I guess it could be an energy drink. It's an energy drink for an alcoholic. It's uh, a wimpy energy drink. Okay, well, hold on. How many ounces is it? It is a 12-ounce energy drink, and it has 52 milligrams of caffeine. It's not so Red like, Bull. Is, is it a cake little butter? over half a Red Bull. Or no, it'd be like... Uh, it's fucking Mountain Dew Code Red. Get off my ass about it. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say it's a Mountain Dew, like or the Kickstarter, the whole uh, the Mountain Dew like energy drink. The you know, well, you see, <laughs> we don't got Kickstarter up here, but we've got Mountain Dew Amp. Uh, what? I've heard of that. You still got Amp? Yeah, dude. Send it here. Oh, that's illegal. Uh, <laughs> with Amp. Oh, dude, dude, if I'm not even allowed to bring fucking Kinder Eggs into your country. <laughs> well, Kinder Eggs are illegal considering the fact that there's a little toy in there and I could just possibly choke because I'm stupid and not three or, or younger than three. But, um, <laughs> no. I love how you say it like it's a valid thing, like it's a valid concern. Well, the reason why it's is, not a it's, valid concern. <laughs> the it's, reason it's, why it's, it is banned is because kids are retarded. Yeah, it's it's and like drawing. Not yeah. <laughs> it's, that, it's, that it's, is true. It's like that episode of The Simpsons where Homer drew little bunny ears on the sockets, uh, 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 on the wall sockets, and he, uh, Marge told him that, uh, you know, she she loves bunnies, not anymore. But it's <laughs> it's it's like that little stupid ordeal. Like I want to kin. I I'm pretty sure we used to have Kinder eggs, but. Like the Disney kind? Well, something must have been different because when we looked this up, what was it? this? Is like a, a well, 1930s. Yeah, yeah, law. yeah. You brought up Kinder Eggs and I didn't know what it was. I've heard it before because my friends always say, I got Kinder Eggs. I'm like, what the hell is a Kinder Egg? Right. And they, they thought I was stupid. Stupid. And I'm like, no. And they told me exactly uh, that, that what it was. sounded like, no. What? <laughs> you're stupid. Stupid. Hey, yo, you're stupid. They didn't think you were dumb or stupid. Wait, they thought you were stupid. stupid. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, that's, you don't know what kind of egg is? Stupid. Stupid from now on. <laughs> that's stupid. You wait. didn't know what kind of egg is? You're stupid. I have to interject. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. The, okay. little, the little Chicago came out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, go Bears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The bears. <laughs> I think that's, that's one of the. I think that's one of the first few times a little Chicago comes out. That sounded more like New Yorker than Chicago. I don't know. That's just how we say stupid. stupid. <laughs> it sound like Boston. Yeah. So. Hockey's. Um, I think I gotta bring this up on air. Why the fuck not? On what today's episode is going to be called? We don't that know. That is a very good question. We forgot which movie we're gonna go with. Well, see, we we did the first three Jurassic Parks, but how are we going to do the fourth 
we Jurassic can't. Park. We can't because there's no name yet. So Jurassic World. No, it's not. Well, when I looked it up this week, it was. That was well, the how, can, the how can we name that Jurassic what pen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Barn. <laughs> I don't well, know. No, it does. We can't go with one with a non-existent movie because we okay. never went. We never went with like because we could have kept going with the Die Hard thing. Uh, we we could yeah we could have gone with Die we could have gone with any kind of Batman animation right. movie. <laughs> Let's segue into look at that transitional material. Are you guys excited about a new Jurassic Park movie? Do you give a shit? Like, what's going on here? Um, are they bringing back uh, Jeff Goldblum? I have no idea. No. <laughs> um, regardless if he was in it or not, no. I don't know. It depends. Because the last one, they're just like, we're going to add a new dinosaur. It's a Spinosaurus. It's better than a T-Rex. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've, I've had a problem with that show since I did a little research on the Velociraptor show. Well, that series, whatever you want to call genre, it. I guess. The, the, I those know. movies. Yes. What do you mean, yes. those movies? Go on. <laughs> what? That Velociraptors don't hunt in packs? And that they're only a foot and a half fucking tall? And it's like a fucking, like, a seal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, they, they, and then, just to fucking be a piss off, after they completely fucked up and made the Velociraptor and it was wrong, sure as shit, they discover, I think it's the Dilociraptor, which is pretty much what they had in the movie. Well, I did not see this in the lab before time. You're fucking, fucking changing the world and shit. Yeah. yeah, man, like, <laughs> what happened to the long necks? Oh, yeah. they were actually, do you want to know something messed up about Jurassic Park that me and my friend were discussing? Okay. That we noticed every time since we've seen that movie. I noticed it when I was little. It's just, you know, when you watch it, when you... Brontosaurus? No, it, yeah, actually, it is part of that. Remember it's in the... There's no such thing as a brontosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus is what they got when they put the right head... On the brontosaurus. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's still, regardless. All right. Yeah. So the scene where the, you first see the T-Rex pop out, right? Yeah. He pushes the truck around, whatever. It's rainy. It's muddy. But the yeah, T-Rex he... is like, what, a good 20 feet tall, according to the movie? Yeah, we'll go with that. Something like that, right? So he comes out of that fence area, right? Yep. He pushes the truck over the fence Jeep. and whatever. Vehicle. He pushes the vehicle. Yeah, no, and he crashed. Whatever. Over the fence. Yeah, over the fence, and they go down a tree. Okay. How did that? The best story I've ever heard. No, it wasn't even a story. Can you tell it again? It's not even that. Okay. (laughs) How does like a twenty-foot-tall Tyrannosaurus, who's not taller than that Brachiosaurus that they show later on, come out of that area? It's like a little mess up that it's it, it's actually oh, a really big oh, mess up. Jurassic Park is full of mess up. Yeah, like how did they make the dinosaurs? Like, oh, we got mosquito DNA. Like, no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what they did. They mixed it with frog DNA. Oh. Wow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then <laughs> oh, they mixed wow. it with frog DNA, and then they. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it not saying that they couldn't that clone dinosaurs one day in the future. Like, I don't know. Cloning is one of those things that I, I think... Uh, they, they've cloned sheep before. Like, they've cloned more than just sheep. The 99s and stuff. Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't want to talk about cloning. Why? Because you're afraid to have you, another you? You won't be unique well, anymore. Only, <laughs> only that other you will have hair. <laughs> oh, and fuck fans. you. He <laughs> will have long flowing hair like... Uh, Hmm. Fabio. No, I'm, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with George Clooney from the '80s. No, I want Fabio hair, or I'm out. Oh no! Have you seen George Clooney's hair? No, not in the '80s. It was very rockerish. It was like Shawn Michaels back when he was in the '80s. Yeah. Yeah, but Shawn Michaels still has that hair. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, but it, but Michael's it isn't was as thin. Really, it was not. It was not straight. Yeah, no. Not well thin, then, at least that or Hugh Jackman's hair. Back when he was a model. 
So wait, so, this conversation what was shoot? What was has the point somewhere. about how did the dinosaur get out of that? That was one mess up. I'm like, what? it's not how he got out of it, all right? How he got out of it, it made it seem like it was flat land, right? But once he threw the truck over, it fell down a good 100, 200 feet. You mean from where you, from where you came from? Yeah, which makes no sense because he came perfectly out of that fence. So what you're saying is you're not excited about the new Jurassic Park movie? Well, not in so many words, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's it going to be about? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> the other dinosaurs. <laughs> Don't be stupid. No, that one so sounded. Stupid. No, that just sounds stupid. like you're making fun of like Puerto Ricans. Well, that's why it's from a... Damn you, Puerto Ricans! My apologies to any Puerto Ricans Where, who watch the show. What, is that? What, what movie is that? What TV show is that? Why are you so stupid, stupid? Oh, uh, that, was, that, that, that was... No. That was Mad TV. Yeah, yeah but I, I swear, like, the chicken dangerous minds talk like that, too. Oh, yeah, stupid! But, yeah, but that, yeah. Stupid. <laughs> why are you so stupid? <laughs> Stupid! Stupid. <laughs> Blackhawks. Well, up in here. <laughs> oh, Dad pulled the Blackhawks card. No, oh, I don't, I don't care. Oh, I'm, I glad, I'm glad they lost. I know you don't care. That pisses me off. Do you want to know why I'm glad they lost? No more I don't. I don't care if you're glad they lost. I'm pissed off that you're not pissed off they lost. Because I'm not a bandwagoner. You're just a, a Canadian hater. Canadian. No, I just... I, Hockey's I, a Canadian sport, therefore it sucks. No. Yes. No. Stupid. <laughs> Hockey's a kid's sport with knuckle pucks. Oh! He goes with the Mighty Ducks reference. And the Bash Brothers. <laughs> you know what's funny? Fulton in that movie is actually a redhead. In real life, or do you mean in the movie? Yeah, in real life. No, Fulton was the kid with the really hard slap shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you're saying. Like, I was like, I was like, I wonder if Johnny's blind because he was not a redhead in that movie. No, he's he's, he's yeah. no, he's not. But in redhead. butterfly like, effect, redhead, yes, yes. In butterfly effect, he was a redhead. And there was some other show I saw him on, and it doesn't even look like him because he's all pudgy and long red hair now. <laughs> Yeah, it it's uh, it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, definitely an effect. <laughs> Don't call me stupid. The ginger jeans are powerful. I almost didn't recognize them until you know you that basically just laying down there all depressed and shit in the fucking asylum. I was like, oh, Fulton. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I recognize that face from anywhere. Depressed, yes. <laughs> is that so you how guys, you, and you guys don't watch Game of Thrones? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is, is is that how you saw him in the Mighty Ducks? Did, did you ever see that fucker smile? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he beat up kids. Remember in part two in the very beginning. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> or better he... yet, or, or better yet, in the third one when the other dude came back from Chicago. Like, what am I, the Bash brother? <laughs> All by himself. Shit. Yeah. But no, I like it in part two in the very beginning when those like guys who got uh from the Blackhawks or whatever they lost to him. They're like, yeah, let's go trip him. Yeah, all you hear is like, really, really, really you guys are gonna get him. <laughs> he's like, yeah, we are. Then they turn around, like, it's like a little thirteen year old kid. All right, guys. <laughs> I was like, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bullshit. I look, I remember my brother when he first saw that. His voice not that deep. And then they show him, like using his regular regular voice. And, like he's like, oh okay. I was like, they, they did that in like a bunch of kid movies back then. I think they did that in the Little Giants as well. Intimidation. <laughs> like what's his Giants. like what's his face? The dude that played Spike. He was uh he was Val and Brink. I don't think he used a different voice. No, but in that in that one I don't remember which one had the fake voice. But they always do it at least once in kid they did it once in kid movies back then. I don't remember ever yeah, seeing it, it in a. Uh, I don't it remember seeing it in, in Sandlot. I don't think they ever changed their voices in that. Sandlot was was different. Forever. Forever. Well. Hey, you 
guys. I don't know why I wanted to go there, but I yeah, I was like, <laughs> like, yeah, nothing to do with what we're talking about. But whatever. Movie, that movie's like the Bible to my to my neighbor's sister. She like loves oh, the crap geez. out of Goonies. Yeah. I was actually I was happy we went to it. Um, me and my wife and another couple, because uh, they had it in theater here. In like our old little revival theater. It's kind of it's kind of a little delay there, I don't think. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's how long movies take to come out <laughs> in Canada. The guy from Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and they're like Goonies. The guy from what the fuck? No, he didn't come out in True Grit. I was gonna say, uh, what's that one? Oh, no country for old men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think Back to the Future Three is hitting theaters next year. <laughs> Uh, but no, at, to be in the theater was kind of cool because the whole theater, when fucking Buddy swings in, the whole theater was like, hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and like half a dozen people got up and did the truffle shuffle. And yeah, yeah, the theater that was by my house, by my apartment over there in Austin. Yeah, they they um they had a they had a, a couple of days where they would do that. I think it was during Christmas time. They had like a bunch of Christmas movies, and Die Hard was one of them. My brother's like, "Why Die Hard?" I'm like, "Well, it is set." Die Hard is one of the best Christmas movies ever. It, it is set ever. Christmas, even though I think doesn't it end like on Christmas the, Eve? The first two are Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other ones aren't. Yeah. And what, what was that one movie? Uh, not what's what's that? National Lampoon's um, Christmas Vacation. Is it Vacation? A Christmas Vacation. Yeah. I remember they even said that technically this movie is not even a Christmas movie because it all happens until Christmas Eve. Like, they don't even show the next day when they open their presents or anything. So technically it's not a really Christmas movie. And I was like, shut up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like Christmas movies can't even go on to New Year's. Like I don't give a fuck. Well, <laughs> yeah. The Goonies. What about... No, I don't want to... What were we going to say? <sighs> Home Alone? Well, the sound of music is considered a Christmas movie, and it it doesn't really have any Christmas shit in it. It's considered. I was gonna say it's a Wonderful Life, but it's got Christmas shit in it. Yeah, Wonderful Life has. It got Wonderful Life. It's all about Christmas. Yeah. Danny, when <laughs> my teacher says when a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. <laughs> oh, Clarence got his wings. Oh, I yeah. wish I knew what you were talking about. You never you've never seen movie? It's a Wonderful Life. You've had like twenty five years to see it. <laughs> this, this is why this show is called Uncultured Swine. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you remember watching me. Home Alone? Do you remember Home Alone, where they my, had that oh, one movie the in best French? Christmas movie ever. Where they had my, that one movie in French, and then the next movie, well, it's, the next it's movie the in Spanish. the second best movie, ever, uh, Christmas movie ever, because. Bad my, Santa just my, no, no, my no, no. three movies that were for Christmas had to have been Home Alone, Did not Die say Hard. Story. Nope, I never even saw that either. Movie, I, I fucking hate that movie. I've never seen it. The longest fuck, especially those 24-hour 20, um, marathons. It was Home Alone, Die Hard, and then the Star Wars Christmas special. I really thought I was going to hear a jingle all the way out of I, you. I was going to be like, Arnold Schwarzenegger with Stop Purple Stop eating my cookies! Now, l- later, oh, on, l- later on, that did become one of my favorites because it was yeah. so stupid. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> stupid! No, I, I would it, say that's one of my favorite ones. I it was that. that one, and Eight Crazy Nights later it became part it's of it. It's a Jewish movie. <laughs> no, it's not. It's both. You go back and you watch it. It's both. I, I haven't seen that one. It, 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 I, it, just, it, I just it, love Dance Outrage. Movie. Yeah, to be honest, like, to be it's honest, a Christmas movie. It's for the Jews. To be honest, that's probably the only movie they've ever really given like Jewish, like any kind of Jewish songs <laughs> during Hanukkah and all that stuff. Because if you think about it, like, oh, you know, yeah, this is, this is some some holiday music. You hear yeah. nothing but Christmas. You don't hear no fucking. <laughs> like, well, you know, what's what's weird like, too is is like to be honest, I've known. About Hanukkah since oh, and this, very and then, little, and, and but I don't forget. know fuck all about Hanukkah. Wait, and, and let me not forget Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Don't yeah. eh. Fuck Tim Burton, man. <laughs> yeah. What? 
Like I, 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 I like that. I like, like, I don't hate everything good. that Tim Burton ever did, but it's funny you should mention this because on the Johnny White Trash show that was released two days ago. I uh, remember what? Fuck Tim Burton. Hold on. That was released two days ago? You remember? Well, yeah, this comes out on Thursday. Johnny White Trash show comes out on Tuesday. Hold on. Hold on. No, what I'm saying is you got it working. Um, I'm not done editing. It's, yet. <laughs> it's up and it, it's up and running. It's recorded. <laughs> yeah, it's up and running. It's just not running well. <laughs> Here, here's another Christmas movie. I forgot about this. Oh, oh we're going by a list now. Christmas in July and, and nope, June now. No, nope. oh, are we no, doing a no, list? No, no, no. It, we're, we're doing, doing Christmas a list. in June. We're doing. No, I, June. I, I just Go forgot on. about. I list. forgot about these two films. Go on. All right. These two films were actually no. near and dear. It was Bill Murray's Scrooged. Yes. And Ernest Saves Christmas. Yes. Oh, yes. No, now I think about it. A, a Christmas, not a Christmas story. Uh, what's it called? I mean, it's called uh, Dickens. Does Elf count? It, mm, I fucking hated I, that. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't count it. It's a good Christmas. It's a little great Christmas movie, but I wouldn't count it. But what, what's that? What's what's that movie called? Uh the Dick- oh, Dickens movie. movie, A Christmas Story. The uh, Char- Christmas Carol? Charles Dickens, yeah, Christmas Charles Carol. Charles Dickens, a Christmas Carol, Christmas. Carol. I love the one with Patrick Stewart. Patrick. He, he Patrick Stewart plays Scrooge. I love you know, that movie. I don't remember which one that one was. Which one that one was? It came out like about what well, back in the early early nineties, I think. Uh, there was the Muppet Christmas Carol. That one's pretty funny too. Um, there's been, there's been a bunch of different ones. Well, yeah, Christmas Carol has been told Paid several some... times. Uh, the 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 duck ones. That one's pretty good. The not the the Ducktales ones. The Ducktail ones, yeah, where they have Miss Scrooge and stuff. That one was pretty fun too. The All Dogs Go to Heaven one. That was good. And you know what? But now. Ever I since. loved All Dogs Go to Heaven. I oh, never yeah. saw the Christmas special. You never that, saw that one? I have it on VHS. And yeah, dude, I can one's... upload it for you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll be in. It'll be one forty one forty four p. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I, I oh, actually, no, no, no. You'll upscale it. I got it my HD I got my <laughs> HD PVR. I'll upscale the crap out of that thing. You, you'd swear there's like CGI monsters in that shit. But yeah, <laughs> I, I like I like part one over part two. But as far as for now, I have Harold and Kumar's Christmas. Come on. I haven't actually watched their Christmas one yet. You're naming that one as one of your favorite Christmas movies. No, I said, but now I have that one to add to Christmas. Can I just interject here? You may. That that it's June? <laughs> that it's June. <laughs> and we've spent a decent amount of time talking about Christmas movies. Well, don't worry. We have all the next month because Christmas in July. Fuck Christmas in July. I you, know, fucking, and, you know what? And fuck, I, and, 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 as a matter of fact, next month we're going to do nothing but Christmas titles. <laughs> this, whole, whole, this whole summer we're going to do Christmas titles. And then in fucking in December, I don't know what we're going to do. We're, we're gonna do we're gonna do, we'll do next oh, year movie. Oh, God. Ham alone. Ham- oh, my God. <laughs> Ham this, alone 2, Lost wait, in New wait, York. Wait, wait, wait. Can this one just be called Hamlet? No, we're doing Ham alone. Ham alone. How about this we're doing one? The, we're doing the Ham alone. Yeah, oh, we can even we can even we can even do three and four. <laughs> was there Ham- a fourth one? I know there was a third. There was one. a fourth one where they actually brought back Kevin, that Macaulay Culkin was some little fucker, and yeah, we got straight to DVD. Right. I've never heard of the well, the third oh. one was straight to DVD. Yeah, but I was actually. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me correct myself. Straight to VHS. They had a, <laughs> they had a RC car. <laughs> and yeah. And a parrot. And a camera. And not just one, <laughs> not two, but four villains. In, in four? No, in part two. In part three, I'm sorry. Either yeah, way, no, no one can beat Joe Pesk. I don't know. Max Keebler did a good job. It was hard watching two entire movies of Joe Pesci not saying, you motherfucker, you. Oh, you mean, you mean the ultimate, like, non-swear swear? Yeah. Fraggle, fraggle. That, is, that, that is where the Raggle Fraggle came from. It, it is where Raggle Fraggle came from. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> he he added that in there himself just so that way, like, okay, you know, that's his way of cursing, way, but not that, cursing. Yeah, that that way people can assume that he's swearing. 
Why'd you because he's it? known for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, he is. I really, I really want to know. I, I still how think I want to see an uh, uncensored it. version of his Snickers commercial. What do you wear? Gloves, you motherfucker, you? <laughs> what do you mean I'm fun? what do you model? <laughs> what do you model? Gloves, you motherfucker, you? <laughs> Alright, uh, Johnny, what, is, what are your Christmas movies? Uh, I think I've already mentioned them. He's just, like, Scrooged. Scrooge. Yeah, I'm... Like I said, Bad Santa. I still can't... Jingle I still, all the way. Still, I, I can't agree with you on Bad Santa, I really can't. Just for the fact that I know Seinfeld had the skinniest Santa. <laughs> and they completely ripped him off of that shit. Alright, but why does Seinfeld have anything to do with that, the movie? Because yeah. they did a Christmas episode where Kramer was Santa. Okay, but... And he was but a very was thin... A drunken asshole well, safe that you, that you can just mess around with. You felt so bad for that little kid. Which little well, kid? Getting picked on? And, yeah, and bad Santa. <laughs> Thurman Nerman? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he, you, here you're making fun of him. I felt, I felt bad for that kid. Uh, my, one of my favorite lines is when he's talking to the little elf dude, Marcus, and he's like, Beat the shit out of some kids today. Made me feel real good. <laughs> oh, no. And and the kid he beat the shit out of was the was the uh, asshole kid from Harry Potter, wasn't it? It's been so long since I've seen that one, no, wait, so I wait, can't which, be hundred percent sure that it was kid? Draco or not. It was not him. <laughs> but but Hold yeah, I, I love the fact that you like beating up little kids. <laughs> he says beating the crap out of them. Uh, that movie had its moments, but. I, I'm not going to say that. Oh, yeah, it was a great Christmas movie. It was an awesome movie. But I think if the reason it's an awesome movie is because it's for somebody like me who fucking hates Christmas. I think it's because it's a rated R Christmas. Oh, my God. John that, that, isn't, that? That, that isn't for killing because I remember there's like the gingerbread man and it's like a horror film. But it was a horrible horror film. Ryan Pinkston. Is that what you're thinking about? What? Ryan Pinkston. That's, that's the no. guy's name. Uh, it, says, it says shoplifter, but it didn't say bully. No, hold on, hold on. I really think they would have they would have mentioned him. Um, Harrison Beaker. Uh, no, I looked it up. The kid from no, it wasn't him. Yeah, that yeah, bullshit. It was, it was gonna be him. Screw that. I totally yeah, forgot. Tom Felton is who I thought it was. I totally. I don't know, it's forgot. been a while since I've seen it. Now I got to look it up. I forgot John Ritter is in that one. I miss yeah, John Ritter. I miss. I miss John Ritter as well. I miss. What was that? Was that John Ritter that was in that one with the, the where he goes kid. to hell and hell is a TV show? It's called it's Changing Channels. Called Stay Tuned. Yeah, Stay Tuned. Was that Ritter or the guy who looks like that was Ritter? I love that movie. I'm gonna watch that one again. That was my favorite. Was Tom Hanks son in this movie? No. That motherfucker no. looks, looks a lot like him. No, but Levy... Wait, and what? And Bad Santa. Motherfucker looks a lot like him. Tom Hanks is not in that. No, Tom Hanks' is son. Oh. Um, <laughs> the guy from Orange County? Car. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe? My buddy's fucking brother knows that guy. Only because he's into, like, um, lighting and all that stuff. He works on movies as far as, like, lighting and all that, and all that shit for, for cameras. That's pretty much it. So he'd be the one getting yelled at by Christian Bale. No. Uh, He's basically the one who just sets up the scene, and then the director is like, hey, I want this. And he's like, all right, so he'll set it up, and then they just go. Yeah, so he'd be the one getting yelled at by Christian Bale. I don't get the reference with that. You don't, you don't know about that. You don't <laughs> know about Christian that? I was like, you and me are done professionally. I'm not coming back till you're fired. He yelled at a fucking guy. Like a light guy. At a light like guy. That. He yelled at a light guy. Oh, he's oh, bad. Yeah. I found the, the guy salvation. from Bad Santa. He hasn't really been oh. in anything. Oh, man. That was a very critical moment in 2009? Eight? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't remember. No, 2008? I think it was 2010. No, because I was still working in the movie theater. Yeah, I don't know. Well, part yeah, Batman 2 had just came out, and that's when... That's I thought it was the come. Terminator set he did that on. Yeah, I know. Salvation. Salvation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, the Dark Knight just came the, out. I uh, love the techno remixes of it. Yeah. Actually, because Obama wrote a book, right? The one from Revolution was Did he favorite. now? 
Yeah, Obama wrote a book before he was president, and he didn't swear in the book, right? I'm going to say this, Johnny, just so you know, you know more about our president than we know anything about your prime minister. Let alone our president. Let alone, let alone your, your our president. Like, your, like, you know more about just, our just president listen, than we know about listen. your king. Go, go on. <laughs> Fucking king. You mean Wayne Gretzky? No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The, Canadian? The, the Quebecian king. What did you just say? Wayne Gretzky's not Canadian. Did you just say Wayne Gretzky's not Canadian? Dude, Wayne Gretzky's the ultimate Canadian. Even the, I know Oh, that. my <laughs> fucking God. You're, you're fired. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky's not Canadian. He is Canadian, but he's from Quebec. Oh, I, 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 I'm going to say he's more like, he's like America's <laughs> son right now, man. Bro. What? No. <laughs> yeah. People in Lance America Armstrong's love. America's son until they did the, the whole steroids thing. Then they, then, 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 then America divorced him. Yeah. No, Tiger Woods is America's son. <laughs> no. Then okay. <clears throat> anyway. Walter Payton. This Obama book. He doesn't curse in it, but he will quote people and what they've said to him in his life. And he read the book himself. So there was like techno remixes with Obama saying something like, there's white people, and then there's ignorant chicken shit niggers like you. And and it's terrible too because it's the Obama voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a I'm a very uh, upstanding uh, citizen, and then and just some of the shit he said, and they remixed it. Look it up if you get a chance. People out there, look up Obama swears remix. Thanks. Don't. I, I lost not, interest oh. as soon as you're like, wah, 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 wah. I like, uh, I lost interest. Yeah, well, too. you didn't even know Wayne Gretzky was Canadian. Well, how much do your opinion really matter now? Well, Wayne Gretzky was not all that. How about that? What? what? Yeah, I'm sorry. Even, oh. I, even I have to say, I hate yeah. oh, but Wayne Gretzky <laughs> is like bigger than Brian Adams. <laughs> Ten times stronger than Brian Boitano. Oh, I love that. Bigger than <laughs> Brian Adams. <laughs> Fuck off. It's like, what do you guys know about Canada? Fuck you, Nickelback. Oh, actually, okay, actually, sorry about that. <laughs> what's worse was I wasn't I wasn't gonna say Brian Adams. I was I meant Brian Boitano. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, I knew, I, I knew that's what you meant to say. I was like, but Brian he Adams. is American. I know Brian Boitano. Yeah, but. He won it for Brian America. Brian Boitano is an American figure skater. Oh, then I, I, I retract that statement and go back to Brian Adams. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it <laughs> Like, I hope you correct yourself because, like, even in the South Park, they mention it. Like, <laughs> you better wreck yourself before you check. No, I did that wrong. <laughs> so, in my mess up, I was correct. Yes, you know. <laughs> when I try to cor- correct it, I messed oh, up. Oh, God. Everyone knows that he was a he was a New York Ranger. Everyone knows that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know hockey. The most I know is Wayne Gretzky and yeah, Mighty he, Ducks. Yeah, he ended it there in Rangers. Everyone's like, yeah, everyone knows he's from New York. <laughs> I think he still lives in LA though. Yeah. See. He like, hates Mother Canada. Back and forth between Toronto and LA. Gretzky. Yeah. Much like your epic meal time, huh? Yes. Hey, it was much like William Shatner. Are oh, you guys going to have him back? Fuck mm. you, man. Someone Shatner's the bomb. Except he's old now. Did I tell you when we saw a little Q&A thing with him a couple of years ago at Comic-Con in Calgary here? People would ask him Comic-Con questions. Con? He'd ramble on for 10 minutes. And not, what? Go on. Canacon. <laughs> no yeah, like we got Comic-Con. comic can <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Back to Gretzky. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're on Shatner. America's son. No, go on. Who's Shatner? Michael There's some J. of the stories. I like, do I have to come out with a list of famous Canadians? We did that. Pamela right. Anderson was Canadian. Celine Dion. I mean, can you really call her famous anymore? I mean, yeah, there's like... Not anymore, yeah. but she Jim was. Jim Canadian. Celine Dion. Bieber. Fuck Celine Dion. Hey, hey. hey. That theme song of Titanic. 
I like Newfound Glory's cover of it better. But are they Canadian? I don't know. I know Sum 41 is. Sum 41 is. Yes. Not famous. What? Yeah, everyone hates my. I, I heard in a story once. Like, they're like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> fuck Sum 41. The stupid. The uh, shit sucks. Um, who are we going to find out if they were Canadian? I have Google open. New Found Glory. New Found um, what was that other shitty pop punk band that came out? They were Canadian. Temple Plan. Yes. You're shitty? <laughs> yes. If you thought Sum 41 was shitty, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Plan. No, like, no, <laughs> no like, I haven't heard them in forever. I'm like, I didn't know they were a shitty band. I mean, now I read, I read the thing about it. I'm like, I don't remember any of the music. So I'm like, yeah. I only remember three songs. I don't know the name of it. Addicted? I'm just a kid. And oh, I'm just addicted to that thing. What was the other thing? Is like, sorry, I can't be perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, I think you just like made it that song even worse. <laughs> oh no, Newfound Glory is from Florida. Yeah, I I thought so. Well, why'd you let me look it up? Oh, you wanted a verification if any one of them might have been from Canada. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember anymore. Because, like, there's things that I just assume are Canadian, and then it's like, you've heard of that down there? Is it maybe because you feel like you're at an all-time low? Do, do you feel like that Canada just really is not that great anymore? Um, Slightly bruised and broken. Yeah, but if I stub my toe, I can go to the doctor. You shut your face. <laughs> I don't need a doctor. I, I use an egg. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he he doesn't know what I'm talking about. I do. No, I yeah. don't. Uh, but it sounded funny. If you watch Machete, it might help you out. Oh, uh, which one? The first one. I watched the first one. Don't you? It's been a while though. Was it in the first one? I and? never saw. I, I'm not really a huge Danny Trejo fan. At one what? point, I, it was the first one when he was like walking away when he was all injured. I'm not like Danny Trejo. Um. He's ugly looking like, what's his face? Edward J. Jordan uh, Lopez? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, oh, God damn it. The, the, the father of Selena. Oh, shit. The movie. The movie. Not yeah. the actual dude. Although, uh, the actual <laughs> dude. Yes. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I never saw Selena. The guy from America and Me. From who? Oh, God damn it. The captain for Battle Star Galactica. The new series. Edward oh, James Olmos? that guy. Almost? Um, Edward yeah. James Olmos, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, okay, that guy. Yeah. Broken, broken, like, skin, facial skin, just... Pockmarks. I, I'm not saying I don't like him because of his fucking, you know, God-given, you know, looks. <laughs> uh, I, 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 don't, I don't think he's that good of an actor. Machete? Danny Trail? And fucking, I hated that. Machete, machete, machete. I fucking hated that little jingle. Oh, that you don't hate machete. You hate... The side characters. Now, I gotta, I gotta interject here. The movie's called Machete. No, it's called Machete. It's no, machete. it's called Machete. Yeah, for you English. Because the movie speaking. was in English. If it was in Spanish, it would be called Machete. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could literally hear the face palm. From across the country. The first time there's no, there's no <laughs> A at the end of Machete. Machete. <laughs> I was like, no. But uh, go on what you were trying to say, Johnny. What was I talking? You were talking. Why? You were, you know, I guess you were defending Machete. He wasn't defending. He was stating the fact that it was Machete. Machete. Yeah. I, I was just... He just wanted to know why you don't like Machete. Yeah. Um. He's like a B. He's a B movie actor. I don't know. Yeah, and that's what all his movies are. Yeah. Robert Rodriguez like basically fucking just like bent over and like, hey, you want a, you want a movie? I'll give you a movie. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. No, oh, no, that is what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just don't really like the guy. The guy's like five foot three. I mean, come on. No. To make him seem like he's a fucking giant. <laughs> no, he's he's, he's Johnny's height. No, he's pretty short. Oh, yeah, Johnny Short. Well, jo- Johnny's <laughs> not that fucking tall, you know? <laughs> I know, but you're not like 5'5". Five, five, yeah, I'll say you're not like 5'5". Five, five. Yes, he is. He's 5'6". 
Johnny I'm said five he's five eight. He just said he's fucking five eight. Yeah, if you take off the shoes. Oh, you no, yeah, Johnny, I, oh, work, oh, do, work boot, Johnny. <laughs> work boot, Johnny. You wearing some Timberlands? He was five eight, and then he's he lost hair. See, Danny Trejo's five six. Okay. Oh, that he's Josh's height. Isn't Josh five six? I think Smasher's okay. five six. Okay. One of you guys, you guys, all you guys are short. Yeah, we're all between five six and five eight. And that surprised me and Dan. And then, and then if I went and like had a drink with like fries and whiskey Punisher, I would be like this little guy you can't even see in the frame. We'd be in the middle. Cause, uh, well, they're both six something. Uh, whiskey six six, fries like six five. Yeah. And they're and they're both big boys. Yeah, so you completely get just. It's like walking into a big forest and you like, start fading like, into the distance. I'll say yeah. this. I like Danny Trejo as just like a side actor. Like the guy who doesn't really talk, but he comes out in the movie and, and does stuff. Like, like, either he's some kind of bodyguard or family member or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah he, he comes okay. out and you don't have to change your opinion just to fit in with us. You don't like him. Just uh, move I on. really don't need to fit in with you guys, but I was going to say no. Just I, move I, on. Like, as a, as a main actor. I don't like him as the star. A lot of people don't need to be the star of fucking movies and shit. Okay. Yeah. There's people who have built entire careers of not being the star. Yeah, that one guy David from... David Spade. A... David Spade. You've been stars in movies, though. Come yeah. on, jo- Joe Dirt. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Gotta keep going. He has, he has like two movies to his name. Or you want to hear some spoilers? What? Well, you guys don't watch Game of Thrones, right? No. I have only watched like about maybe like a total of like six episodes, and they're yeah, like, like, they're maybe like the third, fourth season probably. Like it's like Johnny really wants to talk Game of Thrones with someone, but he can't. <laughs> and you guys don't watch wrestling. Oh, I like watch it from time to time. But he didn't watch yesterday's. The shield broke up. Oh my god! Yeah, is it because they, they lost? <laughs> no, it's because they won. They won. So they sp- oh, oh, isn't that how lost. they broke? Isn't that how they broke up? What was it called? Evolution. Oh come on! Yeah. No, no. Uh, was it Evolution? Four Horsemen no. with Randy Orton. Yeah, Evolution. Yeah, isn't that how they broke up? Because Randy Orton won, and then they. St- I remember this. Randy Orton won, and then the other the two guys, <laughs> the other the yeah. other two guys bashed him with the help with uh, their belts because all three of them had belts. Yeah, and yeah, they pretty much kicked him out. Yeah, yeah. Evolution. Well, the show started off because Evolution lost last night or uh, Sunday. Sunday night at the pay per view, right? Are, 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 are people making fun of him because like Batista wore like blue shorts or something like that? Yes, <laughs> I was like, but dude, blue Tista. <laughs> I was like, but. Fucking Triple H is like wearing like some of the weirdest shorts of all goddamn time. Like, that, remember, oh, I, remember, I know, remember those I get it, audiences? but remember? you gotta understand. Like, these are like Google that shit. This shit is fucking blue. Daba D Daba die. <laughs> I am gonna Google this blue. Daba Diba Batista. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, the show starts off. Batista quit. He straight right? up. He straight up quit. Yeah, he's straight. He's like, yeah, I get it. I quit. Which I saw coming. I heard I think about. He that. had another movie thing coming up, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then fucking at the end of it. Oh uh, my god! I thought that was Photoshop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, no, that's what he wore. Man. They made a Power Rangers reference. <laughs> oh my god! He's a smurf. Oh wait, 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 wait. Send me this? No, just Google it. Blue Tista. Just put Blue oh, just, Tista. Okay, just Blue Tista? And then images. Blue Tista. Yeah. God, that is some blue. I know, blue right? Tista. Mega Man. <laughs> like, it's not just a little blue or yeah, sky there's blue. There's even, a, there's even a little meme. Blue. I'm blue. Da ba di ba da ba di da ba di. Oh my god. <laughs> Is, right now, like, all three people that listen to this show are Googling Blue Tista and going, holy fuck, that's pretty blue. <laughs> that is some serious... That blue. is like going out and buying a new pair of Under Armour bright blue. Yeah, like... It, like, it's the kind of blue that makes Smurfs jealous. Like... Have you seen all the images? Like, the one of the Smurf? 
<laughs> I'm like, no. Nah, the one I'm seeing is the one with him, uh, and then next to him is like a, they're comparing him to Leonardo from Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's like what's even worse is like his like little I guess underwear piece whatever that would be. His it's, trunks. It's it's a completely different blue than his arms and his legs. <laughs> It's like light blue. <laughs> and the other ones are just like blue. <laughs> I'm trying to find the Power Rangers one where they had them on different colors. And they even, they even threw on the fucking Green Ranger shit and throw their pads over them. Oh, hold yes. on, hold on. What makes this even worse is the other two guys are wearing black. black. Yeah, Randy Orton, Triple H. Yeah. yeah. That's Triple yep. H? Ooh, yeah. yeah, that's Triple H. H. In the middle. Wow, not only does he look smaller, yeah. he has no hair. Yeah, he, yeah, he has a buzz head. Man, you it's really it. haven't watched wrestling in a while. <laughs> yeah, you haven't watched in a long fucking time. I told, Although, uh, I gotta tell you. No, okay, no, the last time I saw Triple H, he had buzzed hair. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'll show you guys in a bit. <gasps> Wait a minute, I see it. I see the Power Ranger one. Oh, they even put on the Green Rangers thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm telling you. What are they missing? What color are they missing? Pink. The, the red one. No, they have pink. No, it's like Does pink. They have the pink Rangers. No, it, they're missing. I don't know. These colors are kind of odd. It's like the yellowish kind of green. The blue's kind of eh. The pink goes into red. The black straight black. The black one looks normal. But um, I did. I did get a good laugh last night watching Raw. Because, <laughs> oh uh, my God! There's a picture of Batista all in blue with the blue bandage behind it. Oh fuck! There's him as Violet from the Willy Wonka movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. There is more Batista here. There's a picture of him with Squirtles. I, I love how this show has literally just become listen to us, look at pictures. <laughs> I just you could you could follow along hashtag Blutista. Yeah, <laughs> just go to Blutista, that's all you really need to do. There's a guy with, with a Mountain Dew blue blast, one right next to him. Donna, yeah, Leonardo from the from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> what is he's in a spur? <laughs> yep. You finally got the one I sent you? Yeah, I just looked at it. <laughs> and what's worse is they're they're looking at each other like why is he wearing blue? The other thing is why is he wearing like his shin pads? Oh, why is he wearing shin pads? Um, um they wear shin pads sometimes. I, I I've only seen them really wear like knee ish pads. Uh, it's, it all depends on on who it is that day. It, it's it's funny because like, if you see Randy Orton, no no elbow pads, only 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 wristbands, you know knee pads. You see Triple H, elbow pads, long ass fucking wrist pads with the, then knee pads. Then you see fucking Batista, blue, got fucking <laughs> arm arm bands and shit. He doesn't even have knee pads. He got like shin guards. Yeah, it's just weird. His arms look like they're ready to like go go gadget spread out. He's gonna fucking like use a spider web, like cha. <laughs> I can see that in spinning out spider. And this is what happened yesterday, or no, that was Sunday. That, that happened Sunday. Sunday at the pay per view. And yesterday, like he just straight up quit. Yeah. What do you say? I heard about it, but I don't know. Uh, it was like, um, it's like, yeah, we're gonna fight the shield again. You know, Triple H is going on. Batista's like, no, 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 no. I was promised a single match for the championship. Yeah, Dave, you're going to get all that after we do this. And Batista's like, oh, okay, I get it. I quit. <laughs> and then he walked out. Wow, this start, Blue Tista started trending pretty much immediately. Yeah. Yeah, it was on the show. No, I'm I'm, I'm reading about it right now. Man, people were quick on it too, like to take that footage and just edit it. Yep. So he just straight up left, not because of the blue thing. No, like that can be made fun not of him. It's because it's, I'm, I'm assuming because of movies and stuff. They, they just use yeah, that like it's all storyline that he quit, right? I right. mean, they don't 
I mean, they don't quit on TV unless it was planned. This is cool and all, but why am I seeing a picture of Hugh Jackman? Mm-hmm. He's uh, a man. <laughs> that motherfucker. But you that guys got to listen to the John Cena promo from last night. Because Daniel Bryan was out with a surgery and there, you know, Stephanie McMahon wants him to give the belts back and whatever. And John Cena comes out there and he's like, you know, he's out for a surgery, you know, and, and and, you know, he's got, he's had a surgery that put him out of action. I've had a surgery that's put me out of action. Your husband, Triple H, has had surgeries that put him out of action. You! And he's, like, looking at her dead in the eye. And then he glances down at her tits and back up and says, have had surgeries that put you out of action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He brought uh, back the Jericho thing? Yeah. And then he's like, well, we'll just lock that one up in a chest somewhere. And I'm fucking, like, falling off. Like, it's the first... Thing that John Cena said that made me laugh in a long time. He brought up the old Jericho thing. Oh man, it was the Jericho thing was way better. Because yeah, I mean Jericho went on it for two months. Well, he even had like side by side comparison on the jumbotron of. Oh well, yeah, that, that was that was the same one with the Rock, but. I remember like they just kept rolling with it ever since yep. they had Jericho do it. Because The Rock's main, I think, adversary at the time was, like, Rhino and Triple H and not Steph. And Jericho, for some reason, just wanted to attack Steph. <laughs> or it, that was just the way the storyline was and just made it perfect. <coughs> but, yeah, no, this this was perfectly comedically timed. Because it, it, was, it was timed good enough that the kids won't get it. Oh, yeah. Because it's... That whole boob thing happened a good 10 years ago. During the Attitude Era. A good 10. Back when they could talk about shit like that on, on the air. This was after 2000. It was like 2001 or 2, so. Yeah, it was still Attitude Era. Yeah. Good 12 years. Yeah. A long time ago. Back when I used to watch wrestling. Installing update 146 of 160. Oh, you're installing updates. You stupid. Dude. When we started the show, I decided to reboot my other computer, and it's not done fucking updating yet. Now, did you have the option of looking at which updates you could refuse? I could have looked at it. I just went auto. Uh, so I guess what makes it. I'm looking this up. I guess what makes this bad is his name is actually Batista. Yeah, Dave Batista. Yeah. And he's going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, I know that. Like, how'd you not know his name was really Batista? Half these times are stage names. Yeah, Steve yeah, Austin is not really... Steve Austin is not really Steve Austin's name. He's yeah, but you, yeah, but you should know that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I figured Batista wasn't really his last name. And, and Daniel Bryan's real name is Brian Brown Daniels. Daniels, yeah. <laughs> Um, I forgot Chris Jericho's real name. Yeah. Oh fuck, I can't remember either. I used to know. It was. It's. It's not even Edge. Chris. Edge. It's not <laughs> even Chris. Yeah. Well, I know uh, Steve Austin. They're like, yeah, you need a name. He's like, what's wrong with Steve Williams? We already got a Steve Williams. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> and they leave him alone for ten minutes to come back. You think of anything? No. Nope. Oh. Where are you from? Austin. Well, no, no, it was just no, tonight. He's not you're from Steve fucking Austin. <laughs> like I was just because I think they're wrestling in Austin. Well, no, it, it was based the, the on some hour, uh, heel named Austin. Uh, and then I and, know I know that the Stone Cold part didn't happen till next way. Oh, way later. Yeah. Well, till after he made WWE and was there for about six months doing some ringmaster gimmick. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, it was so bad. I remember rewatching those. I remember I saw this one picture. It was an old picture of Paul Heyman and and Steve Austin, and they both had a full head of hair. It was weird when I saw pictures of him with hair. Yeah, and the caption read something along the lines of, "What we're gonna look like? Enjoy that hair while it lasts." <laughs> <laughs> I was a little upset, though. I think Paul Heyman came out last night and did not mention that his client, Brock Lesnar, conquered the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania 30. 
Yeah, because Brock Lesnar is not fucking there, so he should shut well, the fuck up. I know, up. but he's literally mentioned it every fucking time he's been on. Because everybody was pissed off that that Undertaker lost, right? This and is, then he got Paul the, Heyman come out and just the same. says that over and over and over again. It's hilarious. Hmm. This is the same Paul Heyman that used to manage the Undertaker, right? What? I think at one point he did, yeah. Yeah. Or we're thinking of Paul Bear. We're thinking of Paul Bear. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Paul Bear was the main guy, but no, right. Paul Heyman was the ECW guy. Oh, okay. I'll yeah, I, I don't think it was not an ECW. All these names are like they're I, I coming. Think Paul they're coming, Heyman they're coming did back to me. Undertaker at some point, but. I think he I, might I, have. I when he was I'm, called Kane back when the whole uh, OSW was going or WOW. No, I think maybe a little bit during the uh, American well, Badass. He, yeah, no, no I, like I'm talking about during Undertaker, like after yeah. he became Undertaker. I think. Yeah. I think there was a stint in the WWE where. No, after he kicked out Paul Bear, I think he had Paul Heyman for a little bit when he was the, when he was the heel as the American Badass. He, no, before he became yeah. the American Badass, it was it was just the Undertaker, but he came out with the uh, with the motorcycle. Yeah. And yeah. after well, that, they, they had a few skits where Paul Bear and Undertaker broke up. Yeah. But I mean, you got to do that to forward the storyline. Like I'm already on, on Twitter, and it's like I can't believe they broke up the shield. And I'm like, I thought it was a good move. Well, no, blah blah, blah. and I, I can't remember what I got tweeted back at me. I haven't looked at it yet. But it's like you, you bald fuck. <laughs> well, no. It, you know what? You should the have whole a whole point. You should have Bigelow. <laughs> Go on, Johnny. You should have a picture of your Twitter. Abby should be a picture of you in that blue sweater, smiling. Oh god! I thought you were gonna say, "Hey, if you want to talk about wrestling so much, you should and, be on a wrestling and podcast." No, 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 no. <laughs> you, no. You should do that, right? But no. also, you should change your avi to that blue sweater. So if anybody starts arguing with you, they see that and go like, "How can I fight with that face?" I mean, look at that sweater. No, they would come up pansy. That sweater, though. <laughs> they would come up pansy immediately. Like, shut up! Look at you in that sweater. You have no argument. They're like, I win. <laughs> like, you just lost the internet. And it, it's just like, <laughs> think. This this sweater makes you think Christmas time. In fact, that's gonna be the thumbnail. <sighs> it's gonna be the thumbnail. It's gonna say something like it's a it's a wonderful swine. I don't know. Yeah, but it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be you hugging Blue Tista instead. Oh God! <laughs> You're gonna be a little elf, little blue. Okay. <laughs> Smurfs. <laughs> How the fuck? I, then, I don't even. And then you're going to end up being Gargamel, and I could put little cats in, so that could be Dan. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I already have it in mind. It's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It'll take a couple of, you know, hours, maybe even days to, to remaster. <laughs> but <yeah. laughs> but uh, it's going to happen. In fact, for that, I will change the password to Uncultured Swine just to make it happen. <laughs> so that way, nothing fucks with it. Johnny no, doesn't nothing, care. None the, of the, mo- the moment it's up, the moment it's up, he doesn't care. The moment it's up, he doesn't care. Well, I don't want to stifle the creative process. <laughs> that creative process. Yeah. Yay for no restrictions. But. <laughs> well, hey, Johnny, how do you get a podcast on iTunes? <laughs> You ever tell him? No. Uh, <laughs> then again, get, no. I don't think I don't, I don't think he would have because uh, he streamed. Seth streamed late. Well, no. I mean, to get it on iTunes, you gotta. I know. He's just he's yeah. he's, he's unaware, and then he doesn't know about the RSS stuff, and then blah blah blah. Thing yeah, is, I when you like said it. when you said I'll tell you later, I'll get I in a hangout with you. He he didn't stop streaming till like. It was like 4 a.m. his time, so that would have been 2 a.m. Like 6 a.m. my time. 2 a.m. your time? 6 a.m. 2 a.m. Yes, 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I was like, no, Johnny, no. Yeah. No, I don't think he's from Hawaii. Yeah, no, yeah. Johnny, no. Mahalo. No. Johnny, no. <laughs> no. 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 Stupid. Man. God damn it. Uh, not that I'm really good advice anyway. I can't even get my feet approved. Do I need a... 
I need to verify because I actually need a legitimate, like, not bullshit answer. Okay. Honest answers coming from Johnny. Here we go. So I went one. How much did you enjoy Mal- Mal- Maleficent? It was all right. Would you watch it again? Um, I would not go out of my way okay. to watch it again. If it was but on if TV. I came, I'm sorry. Well, if, if if the kid had it on, I'd probably sit down and watch it with her. Like it, uh, it was it wasn't terrible, but well, I mean, I was a little jaded because we had to go see it in 3D. Oh. I fucking hate 3D movies. Oh. I know. Johnny's old. No, you should watch X-Men in 3D. Oh. I fuck it. I do. I hate 3D movies. Oh. It I costs was... more. You don't oh. even want it in 3D. Oh. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> like, sad face Johnny. <laughs> Like that little face, that little smile, that blue sort of girl <laughs> frown. Like, no. <laughs> 3D. No. No. What was I going to say? It had nothing to do with Maleficent. I was going to ask, okay, Johnny, since this movie's a huge fucking thing, how many times have you seen, uh, I'll just say Let It Go, Frozen? <laughs> how many times have you seen Frozen? Because of your, no, da- your daughter. I've never never seen, seen it? No. Don't, has, has your daughter ever seen it? Yeah. Okay. I'll say, I've never if, seen it if either. You don't, because if you don't have it on Blu-ray and 3D Blu-ray, you've ruined that child's life. <laughs> Fuck. I have. I have <laughs> it on pirated DVD. Good enough. <laughs> and it goes. <laughs> what, what else? Did I say? Yeah, my sister has that shit. And they almost everywhere she goes, they always play it at the fucking like, at the like, the, the place she goes to. They always play it on fucking TV. Like, like she downloaded it, or not? She was she was streaming it. And the next day, we went to go buy you know legal bootleg DVDs, and she bought it there. Oh my god, <laughs> can't get away from it. Uh, but yeah, all right. What other true questions can we ask Johnny about the movie? Uh, were you Angelina at all bored? Still hot. What? Even well, with that's, the that's, weird shit in her cheeks. That's make cool. Angelina Jolie. Angelina, Angelina Jolie. A lesbian? God, she's not a lesbian. No, but she used to experiment. Well, okay. That doesn't make her a lesbian. I mean, Johnny, Johnny's experiment. That makes her horny. Although, well, yeah. at the same time, she also dated Billy Bob Thornton. Yes. And uh, <laughs> they got married. Didn't she date her brother for a little bit? No, no, no. Uh, she just she kissed got, him once. No, no, no. Oh, okay. no listen to this story. They got divorced because Billy Bob Thornton cheated on Angelina Jolie with, wait for it, an Angelina Jolie lookalike. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, man. If, if I were to cheat on my wife, I wouldn't cheat on my wife with somebody who looks exactly like my wife. That'd be fucking stupid, pointless, wouldn't it be? Depends. There is no depends. <laughs> my cell phone went off when that happened. It, it was depends. stupid. Like, I made a point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, it depends. Personality. Come on. I don't know. You can't You can't deny that sometimes you see twins. You're like, well, I wonder which one's the bitcher one and which one's the easier one. <laughs> and nicer to get along with. Maybe he just really, really liked Angelina Jolie that he couldn't get enough of just her. He wanted more of her. Maybe Different. Angelina just doesn't take it up the ass, but the lookalike dud did. Dud. Or that. Dud. That is not true. I. It, it almost feels like Angelina would. I mean, she got them weird, uh, like, legit. Maybe she doesn't hardcore, swallow when the hard, lookalike did. Yeah, okay, that one makes more sense. You know? Maybe the lookalike did but something not- that Angelina wouldn't. Or... Or maybe the lookalike did normal, boring missionary sex, and Angelina Jolie doesn't. <laughs> Whips and chains, motherfucker. He's like, I honestly just wanted normalcy. <laughs> doesn't everybody ever do it doggy style no more? <laughs> like, yes, but when you be hanging from chains, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wearing nothing yes. but. 
Fleather. Suspended from like, what, leather? What's fleather? Like, leather. What's fleather, you ask? Leather with fleathers. Nah, feathers. Wait, with, with fleathers. <laughs> feathers. But it doesn't answer the question, what's a fleather? Oh, it's leather with fleather. <laughs> you were a plumber? Yeah. <laughs> That's some weird oh, shit. Oh, wow. Robin Williams said, hey. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like just rubber with feathers on it. Like, what are those people called? Not Furbies, but what do they call them? Furbies? Furbies, right? Yeah. <laughs> those no. Those fucking... no, 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 no. Take away the B. Furries. Furries? There you go. Oh, okay. you're yeah. talking about that. Yes, the... yes, he's talking uh, about that. Ah, yes. yes. Yeah. Fur and loathing in Las Vegas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was an episode title of CSI, and I'm like, Wow, this is crazy! These people dressing in costumes and humping each other, which makes which which is kind of odd because some some of them do prefer to the dry humping over any no, well, actual penetration. The weird thing that was like I was sitting there and I'm like, wait a minute, there's actually people out there like that? Oh yeah, yeah. Those cards get against, those cards against humanity I cards weren't mine. Well, being high, which on I was gonna say this. I, Actually, I you know, Dan won't put his picture on the internet and only pictures of cats. You need a furry costume. No, he needs what, Ellen what Page. To believe I don't have a costume. He needs well, Ellen... you need pics. Pics or it didn't happen. He needs Ellen Page. What's an Ellen Page? It's a shorter version of Ellen Book. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen Page is Kitty Juno, and I forgot what the movie she, movie she comes out in. The girl just, from uh, I just know where's Kitty and Juno. Was no, also the girl she, came out uh, uh, in that roller skating movie with Drew yes, Barrymore. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. She's also in Inception. Yes. Oh, He's also yes. Canadian, <laughs> by the way. Lottie fucking da. <laughs> well, here I thought you were trying to recruit some people to the fucking you know Mother Canada over there with your oh, king and queen over there. There's fucking Canadians out there. They're ruining everything. Your digital money and everything on it. <laughs> digital money. Hey, your dollar bills look stupid now, too. Yeah, they fucked oh, you, too. <laughs> I saw that hundred. It looked like Mexican. I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, is it the one? Like, I... Do you have the little see-through strip on your money now? Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, so do we. The, the hundred. No, there's only no the hundred. Only the hundred. Only but the hundred so it's, far. It's, it feels fake. No, the Mexican money does have a see through, but not the not the not the hundred dollar bill. Yeah, but the Mexican money is just as colorful as that hundred as well. I like I like Mexican money. I do like the way it looks. It's very confusing though, because there's like almost an unlimited amount of money <laughs> as far as like numbers goes. But I will say this: I do love the Canadian currency as far as it looks like. I I just fucking hate their quarters. Yeah, Monopoly money. Yeah. I really, rate. you can tell what what you've got in your wallet based on color. Yeah. And when I see the when I see them green and, and American, I'm like this shit looks fucking like, like Call of Duty. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> enhance just, the duty. Uh, have you guys downloaded the new map packs yet? Of course. <laughs> Aren't they out now? Yeah, well, yeah, we played them for like five hours. Oh really? No lie. Did? No lie. No yeah. lie. No. We uh. Maybe. We. You wouldn't chip me now, eh? No, we, we we played the maps looking for the Easter eggs. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, what'd you find? The eggs. The, eggs. <laughs> the eggs. Oh, good. Well, the it's I'm not good. even Easter, though. No, Easter pass. Extravaganza. No, it's the achievement thing where you got to shoot all the hives. But in the, in the oh. process, in the, in the process of it. <laughs> Sorry, I remembered something totally different. Hives. Woohoo! There was this comedian I saw. What? And he was talking about these different uh, restaurants he was gonna have. And my favorite was the uh, Christian pizza place he was going to have named Jesus Christ. Uh, I've heard of this, I think. <laughs> and, then, and then he's, oh, fuck. What was the one thing he said? He's like, yeah, it takes the crust three days to rise. And <laughs> 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 oh, man. It was funny shit. <laughs> oh, dad, dude. Oh, damn, I'm bleeding from my nose. Oh, my God. I'm kind of Bleeding from, your bleeding nose. from your good. nose. I'm good. So, Johnny, did you know about the new golden... Um, Shower? No. Combat knife? The new... Yeah, gold combat knife. Um, I think I saw a video titled that. Yeah, well, you can't get it. Why not? 
You gotta be prestige five, and you don't play enough. Yeah, I, well I enough. I I could uh, sit on ghosts and play another four prestigious. Well, uh, uh, unless you give me your account, I have nothing to do. Nah, I don't. I don't. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> you don't He's play like, shit. We <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Like, we don't hey, I've got it. a solid like forty-five minutes in on Wolfenstein since I bought wow. it. Wow, have you gone yeah. past the intro? Um... I don't think he's hit the credits yet. <laughs> yeah, you haven't hit the intro credits. Um, not really. <laughs> okay, have you gone past? I I, I even gone to the asylum. No. Yeah, he, he hasn't yeah. got. He hasn't, he hasn't seen the intro yet. You suck. You yeah. Suck. Uh, yeah, you, you blow. Oh, well. I'm too busy getting laid. <laughs> like, and yeah. No, I had sex last night. You beg. With my wife, even. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count when you beg. <laughs> I cookie. didn't beg. Yeah. Me. <laughs> like, I swear I'll be good. I'll, I'll watch my lips Was... again. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hashtag doesn't matter had sex. Wait, wait, wait. Was this before? Or after um, Game of Thrones? After. Was it after wrestling? Game of Thrones, and then I went on... Was it after wrestling? Uh, during. Oh, then no, that's not fair. She cheated on you with wrestling. Yeah, I paused it, though. <laughs> yeah, the... yeah, but, but you, you can't pause her mind. That's okay. It doesn't matter where you get your appetite as long as you eat at home. What if you're hungry outside? No, I just don't think I'm making excuses. Mm-hmm. I still say hashtag. Doesn't matter how it sucks. Oh, my God. This is a good fucking photo. I, I'm i going to send you these guys. I'm going to send it to you it must be through, through DM, though. I'm sorry. Mm. It must be through DMs. It must be through DMs. And I cannot put it on the Internet because... As racist as it is, I have to keep my, I have to maintain my image. I don't know. Eddie just uh, Eddie tweeted out like an hour ago a picture of a girl with like another girl boobs. That's not racy. No, but that's a compliment if it's anything. Check your DMs. That awkward moment yeah. when you haven't unblocked your boyfriend as a playable. What? <laughs> I'm not even looking at it. Read it. Read the caption first, and then look at the picture. Read it out loud if you can. Because I'll be thinking I think you read it wrong. Yeah, you, you'll have to do it. My computer's still not booted up yet. Jesus Christ. Okay. Do you see the picture? Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> that awkward <laughs> moment when you haven't unlocked your boyfriend as a playable character, and there's two black guys next to the two white chicks laying down on the beach. But the camera was so crappy that they're so hard to see. It's like noob cyber, basically. <laughs> you could barely see their teeth. Have you, have you guys seen that fucking photo where there's like five, it's like five chicks, and they're like, if you only count five chicks, you're a racist. And at the very, very far right, you see like fucking a little white strip, and it's a fucking black chick. <laughs> You almost couldn't even see her. I, I think I can't even find it. That's not racist. That's science. Darker things blend into the background. Whiter things stand out. If it was on a it's, beach, it's more like where math. All the sand is white. You wouldn't be able to see the white people. It's more like math, but yeah, because you count. Although science doesn't include math. I don't know. All right, what are we on about? I think. I think we've fucking wound this show down as, as about as far down as it's going to wind. Just Blue Tista. Blue Tista. Is that the name of the fucking episode? We only just caught that. No, <laughs> it's Ham Alone. Ham Alone. Ham Alone? That's okay. what we said. Ham Alone. We're going next to... week? <laughs> Tune Ham in Alone. next week for Ham Alone 2, Austin, New York. Austin, wait. New York. <laughs> Austin, New York. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Austin, New York? That's what I, I said thought. Austin. I... Lost, Lost in... in New Pork. New Pork, okay. I, cause I heard Austin, New York. <laughs> yes, that's what I heard. <laughs> that's what I heard. Oh, and 
I'm sober, and you still can't understand me. Oh, uh, it was, it was like, you said it. Yeah, you said it so fast. Austin, New York. <laughs> I'm like, what? Austin, New York. <laughs>